It's me. Hey, what's the thing at? Oh, here. Read my own thing. T, from the Pattersons, taking a train to Tibet. Hey, look at here. Uh, first of all, let me take, I have to, I'm, I'm here in an undisclosed location, but I'm leaving the undisclosed location here. This will be my last day, last night, whatever. Last day here, undisclosed location. I spent a night over the other place, right? Um, because I have to go down to Virginia. So what I'm going to do is this is the last, well, the last bit. This is my moringa. You all know about moringa. Moringa bitters, bitters. Bitters is good for you, especially if you're an old guy like me. So I'm gonna leave this. I'll leave this here. I'm gonna be going for two or three weeks, I think. But they're not coming back. Everybody afraid. They're not coming back. So I don't know what's gonna happen. So Miranda. Oh, hey, wait a second. Get my juice. Oh, get that there. And black cherry juice. Be the last of black cherry juice here. So we're gonna clean up. Also got some meat today. Got avocado. Ah, nice avocado. We like avocado. The avocado, and I have some salad in here, so I'll eat avocado salad before I leave. Right there. Okay, here's the thing. A few things. First of all, my beloved Bronx, in on the, the Bronx. The, look, I tell people all the time. It's all over now. I can just tell you right now. You know, this has turned into a fallout rebellion. Right? When the Bronx joins in, all is said and done. Mm. Now, unfortunately, see, I got my hair done. Yeah, see, I brush my hair looks good. Uh, but you see, I have this little thing here, like that. The reason why I have that there is because, you know, my brother passed the other week, but one of the things I first saw him again is that we have the first, the same hair kind of thing. So I'm leaving this there in honor of him for a bit because actually the reason why I can't jump in all these, um, um, demonstrations and and rebellions is because basically I'm actually in a in a 90 day a three month um mourning period so I've got to go to June July August September June July August yeah so September I can join the fray again but right now I can't do anything in fact when I get them going out of Virginia because I have to uh, build an altar for them you know so that, 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 that kind of thing anyway so that's personal stuff but the Bronx is there you know I was listening to a Prince song you know, I think it's a uh, 1999. Yeah, now it's it's gonna somewhere. You know, when it goes party, you know, he's starting to rap or, or talk over the record, right? I think he said something like, uh, um, "I don't want to die, rather dance my life away. I don't want to die, rather dance my life away." Significant, okay? To me, it's like, hey. We ain't taking them. We don't want to die, but look, we got to live. Dance, well, dance to me personally is, is living. So, so I mean, that's so that's sort of went through my went through my head, right? But here's another thing that went through my head. I'm looking at the way the the the, the people are talking like, like that. I could hear all this black vernacular. It's always been creeping, you know. Like we saw, like some like like I remember when um, was it uh, was it George H. Bush, I think. When, when, when we started to use, like, the word dis came into the lexicon, right? But I knew it hit big because the New York Daily News had a big headline. He's getting off a plane and they had this, um, what do you call that, uh, tear gas, something to appear wafted over to his area. So he was, you know, teared up. With the, they had a big thing that said dist. I said, oh, that's a black word, right? Then since then, that's in the 80s, right? Whenever it was, 90s, rather. And so it's uh, well, early 90s, uh, 80s, 90s. Anyway, so so since then we have all these kind of things, you know, but you know, twenty four seven, of course, you know, you know, things like when we say fam, like people like to use fam, but you know, we know when we say we say fam a certain way, right? But they, but they they've appropriated some some stuff. So I'm always you know, you know they they love the word, you know the word I'm talking about. What they can't use it. Okay, there we go. But now I just heard something because uh, Kiki, uh, Kiki from the you know Kiki, no Kiki, Kiki, Kiki from the that. That network morning show, right? She was out there. She's in L.A. and she was talking to the police line, and you know, and she was trying to get them. He said, "No, we're blah 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 blah." You know, she's trying to get them to you know to, to chill, and they, and he said, "You should march with us. You should march with us like that." It was it was really very powerful and very very effective, right? 
Well, some people point, you know, you should kneel with us, right? And then you hear in the crowd, the black people say, take a kneel, take a kneel. Love that term. This is why I love being black. Take a kneel. Think about it. It says everything. Take a kneel doesn't mean just take a knee. It means take a kneel means kneel like Colin Kaepernick. Those kind of terms. That's why I love being black. We, we, we put stuff together, and once it hits, it hits. So I'm really uh, uh, happy about that, right? Um, but let me go back to uh, uh, to what she, to what she to what she did kicking in that whole thing with the with the police. Then there's another thing I think in Flint, Michigan, where the the, the cops just say, "No, you, we'll march with you. We'll just be like a parade and say we'll all march together." You know what I mean? But when when you have the, your commander in chief, what does he say? Was his, the word he uses destroy or whatever? I don't know what. The, let's make like the word is destroy. He wants to say destroy. Hey, we should everybody should march to Washington D.C. And that word he was just within miles of this surrounded when it's truly surrounded the the, the capital, and it's everybody keeps on saying destroy, destroy. And then words throw the bad word back on him. But basically, what you have to say tell these cops is like you, know, you listen to your commander. You really do not the cops when they put the military in. You really do want to listen to your commander in chief. I don't know if that's such a good good thing because there is the universal the universal code of military justice. I was I'm a veteran. You know, there's the unlawful orders you do not have to to, to obey. You know, there's consequences, but it's unlawful orders. You don't have to obey an unlawful order. Anyway, so so I'm thinking, man, it's interesting. What if, you know, uh, you, you had a thing where you had to go, the, the, the cops could only have tasers and one one round in their gun. That's it. The the, 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 the case, whatever, that, that, that goes, you only have one round in your gun right there with taser, but you can't be, you know, you should be joining the people. You know, first just a little like semi disarming him. That's like my little plot. But then, you know, you have you, you, the, the people all march together. Since you have police and like that old person in the crowd, when you have these these other these rabble risers, when you have when you have something, you say, hey, this guy, they're going to break a thing, whatever have you. They won't break it because they're right there and everybody can stop them because everything's been broken right now. So it doesn't matter. But then again, this is the last thing I want to say. Then again, remember this started out with a start as always, you know, protesting uh, of, of the, the murder, this time the murder, actual murder of, of in broad, whatever. And, 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 and bright screen light all over the screens all over the world saw this this brutal murder, this, this murder, this, not even brutal murder. That's, that was the problem. It wasn't a brutal murder. It was a quiet execution a quiet execution, a quiet execution. So that's the initial wave that brought that out. Then, of course, you have your detractors coming up. But then you have all the people are there. Then people are realizing, you know, the just just the whole, oh, you put us, you, you tell us we can't work, but you won't pay us not to work, but you gave all that money to your peoples, you know, to your people, to your rich people. You're, you're trying to give us solutions that gets us in debt. All these things, the people are coming out now for different reasons. But And then now, here's the other thing. It's spreading all over the world. I am so happy. And even, oh, I heard um, the president, President Uganda, of course, the, well, he has ties to the United States, when we all together. President Ghana put out a statement, con- the president of Ghana put out a statement condemning the violence in the United States. That's interesting. I think the AU, we, we'll see what happens, but Africa, but all over the world, is there's demonstrations, I think, in England and well, all over the place. It's like, keep on going, because that's, that's our job. Black people, we fuel things, we start things, you know? The problem is when we start things, then you'll take it over, and then you take the you know, our spoils of our own war, or whatever. But the point is, that's the, people need to keep on going. All, all, all of the downtrodden black, the down rise up, ye downtrodden. That's just a little message. I guess, that's what I throw to you. Stay strong. Do what you need to do. <laughs>